What's up everyone? Today we're taking a look at a game called Algonon, an MMORPG developed by Derek Smart. You know, the guy that made that desktop commander game. This game is very similar to World of Warcraft, and right off the bat, here's the character selection screen. We can choose between one of two different factions. Let's go with the faction over here with the gold logo. That's the Ashar. Okay. Let's click next. Choose your family. Family choice defines your playstyle and shares that playstyle with others visually throughout the game. The family you choose will also define what family heirloom items you can purchase. The choice will also give you a family chat channel, allowing you easy, allowing for easy communication with other like-minded players. Hmm. I, I I guess you can just sort of choose one of these little things here. I, I don't know exactly which ones I should choose right off the bat. So I'm just going to go with Explorer. Okay, choose your class. Apparently there are four classes in this game. The Champion, the Ranger, the Magus, and the Mystic. Well, I like, I like Ranger. should be like a hunter in WoW, so I'll go with the Ranger. Click Next. <laughs> oh my god, these graphics look like WoW. Okay, here's my um, human. I, I, is this the only race I can play as? You know, wow, okay. I can sort of choose between a number of different faces. They don't really seem to make that much of a difference, so I'll just go with just what I like here. Here's a number of different hairstyles that your uh, facial hair that you can choose from. And this is your different hairstyles. You can get a mohawk, a ponytail. Let's go with the ponytail. I don't know if you can change it later on in game, but it should be alright for, for this review. Okay, now I'm gonna imp now I'm gonna put in a character name. Let's see. Create character. That name is already taken. Let's go. That name is already taken. I'll find one in a second that hasn't already been taken. That name is already taken as well. Well, for, for a game that no one supposedly plays, there certainly is a lot of names already taken. Okay, there we go. Play Algonon. Okay, we're back, and here's a little tutorial thing. It says, Welcome to Algonon. You've just created a new character. A tutorial is available to get you up to speed. Okay, let's view the tutorial. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I guess I have to go talk to this guy here. Let's see that what he has to say. Not be moved. He's telling me to go speak with some other dude. I think I can see on my little mini-map up here to the top right, that little yellow circle. I think I have to go over there, and it looks like I do, yes. So, the graphics are okay. I, I, kinda, I kinda dig the art style, actually. A lot of people give this game a lot of crap for being way too similar to War of Warcraft. And I would say most games are very similar to War of Warcraft, but I do... I do kind of like what I've seen so far, despite Asians the fact that is a virtue. this game gets, has gotten a lot of bad press. Okay, now it's telling me I have to go talk to all these different NPCs, and I'm just going to go follow my mini-map here and talk to them all individually, one by one. And let's kind of see, let, let's explore the user interface a little bit. Okay, my M key brings up my world map nice looking world map there and I can apparently I can scroll to different there are two continents in which I can sort of choose in between which ones I want to take a look at I can press C to access my character info and there's shows my uh, inventory and all my stats there's my skills that I can choose from if I hit the P key the in the end key looks like it brings up a skill tree of some sort anyway I'm gonna go talk to this guy here. I I I actually skipped him just Briefing. a second ago. And let's see what he says. Okay, I talked Very to him. Well. Now I gotta go talk to one other guy. It seems like every game I've been playing, it seems like all the games I've been playing here lately just make me go around and talk to all these random guys for. Some, and I just Hell. rather get out and start killing things rather than just talking to all these NPCs. Where you go, That's a huge pet peeve I have with a lot of these MMOs. 
Now again, for those of you not familiar with this game, this was originally developed as cannot be a pay-to-play game. Be Hell. However, it failed somewhat dramatically to obtain any semblance of a player base. Patience and I'm actually quite impressed that this game is still around, considering the fact that almost no one actually plays this game. It, I, I don't know how many people are currently logged in, are currently playing right now, but I would say less than a hundred people, probably, per day yes, on the server. Even now that the game is free to play. Okay, I just finished that little, sort of like a tutorial section. I just finished that, now we're loading up the... It should really be the beginning of the game. Okay, I stepped through the portal, and here I am at this place called Andar Fields. Alright. I'm gonna go talk to this guy Good here, day, see what he has to say. This quest. Very well. <laughs> he gave me a quest to go talk to this guy that's standing right next to him. And complete that quest. Very well. And I have to kill eight wolves. Okay, and according to my mini-map, the wolves are right over here, and that's exactly where they are. Oh, look at those stellar combat animations. I am so impressed. Wow. That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Yeah, for all I for all I compliment on for all I compliment this game on its world design, its animations are pretty awful, I've got to say. Kill this wolf here if I can again can figure out kind of what I'm doing. Apparently, I have no other abilities right now other than just my basic ranged auto attack and my basic melee auto attack. So I'm just gonna go around auto attacking all these wolves. Here. This is wolf number three. And I thought I pressed the auto attack button, but he, <laughs> he stopped auto attacking. And he's down to about half-life. And an interesting thing I guess I'll go ahead and, and mention as well. One thing that definitely does set this game apart from World of Warcraft is this right here. You click this button here, and you can study different attributes, which actually will increase while you're logged out of the game. So, for example, you can study different things in combat, magic, or just, or just sort of uh, general type statistics that you can increase using the study system. Sort of like EVE Online, where you can progress your character while, not even, while you're not even logged into the game. Another game has a sort of similar mechanic called uh, J Dynasty. It's a free-to-play MMO published by Perfect World Entertainment actually has sort of a, a similar system to where you can pretty much go AFK and you can sit your character in a town and then pretty much go AFK and your character sort of just gains experience at a slow pace while you're not at your keyboard. And I like, I like games that offer character progression while you're not actively playing the game. I know some people think that that sounds counterintuitive, but we've all got we all we've all got things in our real lives that keep us busy and not always at the keyboard being able to play our games. So it's nice that some games actually allow you to, to steadily progress even when your real life might be getting a little hectic. I'm on my sister, my, my sixth wolf I just killed and he uh, a chest. Okay, I guess that's how you get your loot dropped a belt, which is definitely an upgrade for me. So I'm going to hit the B key, which opens up my backpack, and I'm going to equip my belt. All I have to do is right-click it. Now I'm ready to go attack another wolf. See, right now, I think this combat, if I were seriously looking to play this game, I think this combat would just kill it for me. Now, I don't know... What? Again, I ha I don't I haven't followed this game enough to really know what killed this game, but 
the combat is pretty bad. But again, on that subject though, on the subject of its population, I'm really amazed that this game hasn't shut down. It's just a testament to... I, I don't know Derek Smart's a bit, just his desire to keep chugging away at this game that probably no more than 20 people actually play full time. I do think there's potential here, though. I, I've played, I, I tell you what, I've played games that are a lot worse, I, I've played a lot worse games than Algonor that have a much larger player base. So no, I'm not really sure why this game doesn't have more players. It actually, all things considered, it kind of reminds me of Vanilla WoW. It's sort of a very, it, it's definitely modeled after WoW, but it's more of really? The game itself is definitely more grounded in reality. It doesn't seem so. It doesn't seem quite so high. It's not. It's not as high fantasy, or at least not right away. It doesn't seem quite, quite as unrealistic. So it's a much more low-key take on sort of the WoW style of MMO. Okay, here's a little town. I think there's a trainer here, but I'm not sure. I just saw a trainer for another class. I'm looking for the archer trainer. And I don't quite see him anyway. But anyway, here's... We can just sort of explore the town a little bit as I jump around here. There's another wolf over there. I don't think I want to attack any more wolves. In fact, I think for the purpose of this first look, I think I'm pretty much done with the whole combat thing. And, and I just want to sort of explore this town in, in the closing of taking a, as I close this video, just to say that again, Algonon is definitely an interesting game. It's probably a game you've you've never heard of, and if you have heard of it, you've probably only heard bad things. And again, I'm not here to tell you that the things that you've heard were unjustified, because they probably were. But again, I've played much worse games than Algonon in games that have a much larger subscriber base. So if you want to play Algonon, but you're not worried but you're worried about the, the the population, go ahead, give it a shot, play it. You know, if everybody had that attitude, no one would play Algonon. And believe it or not, as dead as this game is, the developers are according to Derek Smart, the developers are actually working on an expansion pack to this game, which is bound to bring back some old school players and should entice new ones. Well, that about wraps it up for my first look for Algonon. If you have any questions or comments, f please feel free to leave them below. And if you like my video, feel free to subscribe. And I'm always open to suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, guys.